Parsons with HealthyJourneyHelenParsons.com and I want to talk today about some health issues that are particular to women, especially to women uh, who are getting more mature. So anytime we get past our 30s, we tend to face some issues that other women may not have or that we didn't have when we were younger. So first, I want to say that these are very real and um, you know there are a lot of medical reasons why we face more issues as we get older, but the good news is there are also things that we can do about it. So I often hear people say, well, you know, I can't, ever since I, I hit 40, I can't lose weight or I'm gaining weight or, and those things are true. Those things are probably true, but there are things that you can do for it. It's just going to be a little bit trickier than it was when we were younger. Um, when I hit 30, I noticed a real dramatic change. Like all of a sudden, uh, there was like a, a shifting in weight, like my like literally gravity kind of kind of took over and because I've always kind of had that pear shape but the pear shape came a little more pronounced and I noticed that the belly fat area um, I never like the waist my waist was always very small compared to the rest of me and that even that like my pants were fitting differently so so this is all you know very real stuff so the first thing that we have to deal with is a slowing metabolism and that is a medical fact that our metabolisms actually slow down about five percent for every decade after 40. that's a substantial amount so what happens um, when our metabolism slows down that just means that we don't burn calories as effectively as we used to so if we're still eating exactly the same thing exactly the same way, then we're liable to put some weight on. The other, another big thing is hormones. Hormones are huge. They always are with us at any phase of our life. They seem to kind of dominate. But in this phase of our life, we have two things that we're dealing with. First, you have perimenopause, which is a fairly new term, and that is like four to five years before you actually hit menopause. You're not actually considered to be in menopause until you have been 12 consecutive months without a period. But that time period before, you're gonna experience a lot of the symptoms that go along with menopause, hot flashes, night sweats, mood swings, all of that kind of stuff because you have a hormonal fluctuation. So everything becomes really wacky and irregular. So what happens in, uh, I guess I'll just talk about um, menopause and then you know perimenopause is just kind of that up and down but in menopause you your ovaries stop producing estrogen and estrogen the the lack of estrogen makes uh, two things increase in our body cortisol which is like the stress hormone and insulin so cortisol uh, these these both just keep this kind of brief these both actually um, are what cause that weight to settle around the the belly area that has to do where the insulin is produced and and all of that um, so it's legitimate that actually yeah that these weight does actually go in these areas when we hit menopause or perimenopause for a medical reason also uh, less progesterone which doesn't make a weight gain but a retention of water weight so you feel bloated you feel fat so even if it's not an actual weight another thing that's common with women as they get older is a low thyroid hypothyroidism I have this I was diagnosed um, in my early 40s quite by accident my doctor did not believe that I had hypothyroidism and and I did and you know my symptoms were not normal of hypothyroidism but it definitely it was it was real and once I got on medication and they got the dosage right everything was everything's fine that's all controlled right now but uh, as women age they are more likely to suffer from hypothyroidism and women definitely 
more than men. So um, some other symptoms of hypothyroidism are like really unexplained fatigue that you know, despite exercise and a diet change, you can't get rid of weight or you keep gaining weight. Um, sensitivity to hot or cold, really coarse, dry hair, those are skin, those are some other symptoms too. Another thing that happens as we get older is a loss of muscle. Like literally our muscles kind of, as we really get older, they start to decline, they start to atrophy. So as we lose muscle, our muscles help boost our metabolism. And so as we're losing muscle, we're losing our ability to metabolize things as quickly. This is why men actually burn more calories than women because ten, men tend to be a little bit more muscular than women and so muscle burns calories, men have less fat, they burn calories more efficiently. So um, recent research suggests that women on average lose muscle mass twice as fast as men, of course. Um, and so when you lose muscle mass, your body fat increases. Stress, stress is a big one. Stress, and, and at this age, there are a lot of things in our lives that cause us stress because we're trying to work, we're trying to keep the home going, many people have children, so you're trying to like wear all these hats and be all things to all people. So the stress level can be a little bit higher. Well, stress also produces cortisol, which we already talked about, gets the belly fat. So um, lack of sleep, lack of sleep is another one. Lack of sleep will also produce cortisol in the body and lack of sleep can go along with kind of some of the hormonal changes. So I know that when I hit perimenopause, I started to have hot flashes and night sweats. So the night sweats can be a little bit um, disturbing. They can wake you up and you're like you're hot and then you're cold. Um, some people have more difficulty falling asleep. Some people have more difficulty staying asleep. But when your body goes into sleep deprivation, then it produces cortisol, which gets the fat going around the belly. So that's a lot. There's a lot of things working against us, but that's okay. Because once you educate yourself on what it is that's working against you, then you can do something about it. So tomorrow, part two of this series, I wanna tackle each one of these issues and let you know what you can do about it. In the meantime, if you want to ask me any questions or anything, feel free to comment below. You can shoot me a message. I would love to talk to you. Have a great day.